In the realm of gospel music where voices carry messages of hope and faith, Shirley Caesar stands as a beacon of light, her name synonymous with soul-stirring melodies and timeless hymns. Yet, her journey is not just one of musical triumphs, but a tale of unwavering resilience, unwavering faith, and extraordinary success. Today we embark on a journey into the world of this legendary singer, where we uncover the opulence that surrounds her lavish lifestyle, delve into the depths of her sprawling mansion, and unravel the mysteries of her impressive net worth. Shirley Caesar, born on that auspicious October 13th, arrived as the tenth of thirteen children, a testament to the abundance of love and joy that filled their home. But fate had a bittersweet twist in store for young Shirley. When she was just seven years old, her father, Jim Caesar, a beloved local gospel singer, bid farewell to this world, leaving behind a legacy that would shape Shirley's destiny. Despite the early loss of her father, Shirley's spirit remained undaunted. She was a natural-born singer, her voice resonating with the soulful melodies of gospel music. Even as a child, she found solace and joy in sharing her gift with family and friends. It wasn't long before her talent caught the attention of those beyond the walls of her home. Invitations began to pour in, beckoning Shirley to share her voice far and wide. From intimate gatherings to grand events, she graced stages across the Carolinas, her voice stirring hearts and lifting spirits wherever she went. With each note she sang, Shirley Caesar forged a path that would lead her to become one of the most influential figures in gospel music history. But behind the accolades and fame lies a story of resilience, perseverance, and unwavering faith. Shirley Caesar's journey from a humble beginning in Durham to the pinnacle of gospel music is a testament to the power of passion, determination, and the enduring legacy of a father's love. Let's rewind the clock to the vibrant streets of 1958, where the air was filled with the soul-stirring sounds of gospel music. Amidst this musical tapestry, a young Shirley Caesar, fueled by her passion for singing, set her sights on joining the legendary gospel group, the Caravans. With a heart full of hope and a voice that could move mountains, Shirley approached none other than Albertina Walker, a towering figure in the gospel music scene. In a moment that would change her life forever, Shirley poured her heart out in song, leaving Albertina spellbound by her raw talent and unwavering passion. Albertina, recognizing a star in the making, extended a warm invitation to Shirley to join the ranks of the illustrious caravans. And just like that, Shirley Caesar found herself amidst gospel royalty, rubbing shoulders with some of the finest voices of her generation. With the caravans, Shirley soared to new heights, her voice weaving effortlessly through the rich harmonies and powerful melodies that defined the group's signature sound. Hits like Sweeping Through the City and No Coward Soldier became anthems of hope and inspiration, resonating with audiences far and wide. For eight glorious years, Shirley Caesar stood as a pillar of strength within the caravans, her voice ringing out with passion and conviction. But even as she basked in the glow of their collective success, Shirley knew that her journey was far from over. In a bold move that would set her on a path to solo stardom, Shirley seized an opportunity that beckoned her towards new horizons. With a solo recording contract from Hob Records in hand, she bid farewell to the caravans, embarking on a solo career that would cement her status as a gospel music icon. In 1971, Shirley struck gold, both literally and figuratively, with her first Grammy Award-winning LP, I'll Go, released under the prestigious Hob Records label. Tracks like Oh Peter Don't Be Afraid and Choose You This Day became instant classics, captivating audiences with their soul-stirring melodies and powerful messages of faith. But Shirley was just getting started. With hits like God's Not Dead, He's Yet Alive and Don't Drive Your Mama Away, she solidified her status as a gospel music powerhouse, winning hearts and minds with each note she sang. In a groundbreaking moment in 1971, Shirley Caesar clinched her first gold-certified record with the timeless anthem, No Charge. This milestone catapulted her into the spotlight, earning her widespread acclaim and adoration from fans around the globe. Yet despite her unparalleled success, Shirley yearned for more. With a hunger to reach a larger audience and spread her message of hope far and wide, she made a bold decision to part ways with Hob Records and venture into uncharted territory. In 1977, Shirley made history once again by becoming the first woman ever to sign with the secular roadshow records. With her fearless spirit and unwavering determination, she unleashed her debut studio album, First Lady, Upon the World. Though sales may not have soared as expected, 
the album left an indelible mark, earning Shirley the endearing nickname, the First Lady of Gospel. Undeterred by the challenges she faced, Shirley pressed on, releasing her second and final album for Roadshow Records, From the Heart, in 1978. Though her time with the label was brief, Shirley's legacy continued to flourish, leaving an indelible imprint on the world of gospel music that would resonate for generations to come. From signing with Word Records in 1980 to earning seven Dove Awards for Black Gospel Album of the Year, Caesar quickly rose to prominence in the gospel music scene. Her hit albums such as Jesus, I Love Calling Your Name, and I Remember Mama captivated audiences and solidified her as one of the genre's most beloved artists. Throughout the 1990s, Caesar continued to release chart-topping albums, winning hearts with songs like He's Working It Out For You and Stand Still. Her impact on the industry was further recognized in 1999 when she received a National Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment for the Arts and was inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. As the new millennium dawned, Caesar showed no signs of slowing down. Her album, Hymns, soared to number four on the top Gospel Albums chart in 2001, setting the stage for a string of successful releases in the following years. From You Can Make It to A City Called Heaven, Caesar's music continued to inspire and uplift listeners worldwide. In 2016, Caesar reached new heights with the release of Fill This House, which not only topped the Top Gospel Albums chart, but also earned her a Grammy Award nomination for Best Gospel Album. This achievement was followed by a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017, cementing Caesar's legacy as a true icon in the world of gospel music. Aside from her incredible music career, Shirley Caesar has also left her mark in the world of film and television. In 1998, she showcased her acting chops as a funeral singer in the romantic drama Why Do Fools Fall in Love, adding depth and emotion to the film with her powerful vocals. Ah, Caesar's foray into the world of movies continued with a cameo appearance in the 2003 musical comedy The Fighting Temptations, where she brought her signature style and charisma to the big screen. Her presence on screen was as captivating as her performances on stage, proving that her talents knew no bounds. In addition to her film roles, Caesar has graced the small screen with guest appearances on popular sitcoms such as Good News and The Parkers. Her infectious personality and undeniable talent shone through in these appearances, showcasing her versatility as both a musician and an actress. With her memorable performances in film and television, Shirley Caesar has proven to be a multifaceted talent with a star power that transcends genres. Whether she's belting out gospel tunes or delivering a heartfelt performance on screen, Caesar's presence is always a delight to behold, leaving audiences captivated and craving for more. A true testament to Shirley Caesar's enduring impact and influence is her distinguished performances at the highest levels of government. In 2015, she had the honor of gracing the White House with her unparalleled talent serenading President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama with her soul-stirring gospel music. Her performance not only moved the audience to their core, but also solidified her status as a musical icon with the ability to captivate and inspire even the most esteemed figures in the nation. But Caesar's contributions to gospel music did not stop at the White House gates. Her profound understanding and appreciation for the genre led her to deliver a poignant speech on gospel music to the U.S. Treasury Department, enlightening government officials on the rich history and cultural significance of this beloved musical style. Her words resonated with all who were present, highlighting the power of music to bridge divides and uplift spirits. Through her performances and speeches at the highest echelons of power, Shirley Caesar has demonstrated the universal appeal and transformative power of gospel music. With a remarkable career spanning decades, and a legacy that continues to touch the hearts of millions, Shirley Caesar stands as a shining beacon of talent, determination, and faith. As a highly respected gospel music icon, pastor, and inspirational figure, Caesar has amassed a net worth of $6 million, a testament to her enduring success and unwavering commitment to her craft. Despite not having obtained a college degree in her youth, Caesar embarked on a journey of self-improvement later in life, and achieved a remarkable feat by earning a bachelor's degree in business administration from Shaw University in 1984. 
This display of determination and dedication exemplifies Caesar's unwavering commitment to personal growth and excellence in all aspects of her life. Further adding to her impressive list of accomplishments, Caesar also pursued studies at Duke University's Divinity School, delving deeper into her spiritual beliefs and expanding her knowledge of theology. Her thirst for knowledge and continuous quest for personal and spiritual growth showcase her relentless dedication to self-improvement and lifelong learning. In 1983, Caesar found love and companionship in Bishop Harold I. Williams, with whom she shared a deep connection and a shared commitment to their faith. The couple served as co-pastors of the Mount Calvary Word of Faith Church in Raleigh, North Carolina, where they led a congregation of over 1,500 members with grace and compassion. Together, they nurtured a community of believers and spread a message of love and unity through their shared ministry. Despite the passing of Bishop Williams in 2014, Caesar's legacy of faith and resilience continues to endure. Through her unwavering dedication to her church and her family, including her two stepchildren, Caesar embodies the values of love, faith, and perseverance, inspiring others to embrace life's challenges with courage and grace. In 2001, the couple made headlines when they purchased a lavish 9,000-square-foot mansion in Raleigh, North Carolina, for a cool $1.5 million. Little did the public know that nestled within the walls of this opulent abode was a hidden gem that would leave real estate enthusiasts and Star Wars fans alike in awe. Fast forward to July 2021, when the couple decided to put their beloved home on the market, listing it for $1.55 million. As prospective buyers and curious onlookers flocked to catch a glimpse of the luxurious property, they were met with a jaw-dropping surprise, a Star Wars-themed movie theater and bar that transported visitors to a galaxy far, far away. The meticulously crafted theater, complete with intricate details and futuristic decor, served as a testament to the couple's shared love for the iconic sci-fi franchise and their flair for the extraordinary. Captivating imaginations and sparking intrigue, the Star Wars-themed movie theater and bar became a focal point of interest, drawing admiration and astonishment from all who set foot inside. From movie buffs to Star Wars aficionados, the unique and immersive experience offered by this one-of-a-kind space left a lasting impression on all who were fortunate enough to witness its grandeur. In a bittersweet turn of events, Shirley Caesar bid farewell to her beloved home in March 2022, selling it for the same price she had purchased it years ago. As the doors of the mansion closed behind her, the memories of the Star Wars-themed movie theater and bar remained etched in the hearts of those who had marveled at its splendor, a reminder of the couple's bold vision and creative spirit that transformed a house into a wondrous sanctuary of dreams and imagination. 